Hello everybody, my name is Kevin the Big Dog Brick and this is Lego Star Wars Slave 1 and it's the USC one and it's such a really cool insane set which I built and this set number is 75060 with 14 and plus, with 19 and 96 pieces, and the set came out in, and the set came out in 2014. Let's go on to the Lego figurines. Boba Fett, all the cool printing on him, arm, arm printing there, and then he does, he doesn't have a back facial printing, but... I'm going to show you guys what he looks like with everything off. Now that's what he looks like with everything off with all the cool printing on the arm, back torso printing, and cool printing on the arm on there too as well. P B Spin Guard is an exclusive figurine here. Great torso there. Comes with a blaster gun. And looks like with that on him. Stormtrooper. Stormtrooper all the way around on him. Back torso printing there. The clone trooper face on that. And also comes with a blaster gun too as well. You have the last one is Han Solo. Han Solo is actually in his, when he's getting trapped in his carbon, being carbonate, and he also does have a face that he looks like he's in carbonate as well. And for the carbonate, this is actually in the set you come with, and it's such a great printing on that, on there. And these are all like Boba Fett stuff that they give you extra of, which is nice, like the visor and the piece for that too as well. Now I'm going to move on to the main build now. Right now, as you may know, I have it in the flight mode and not the flight mode, the um, landing mode. And from the cool part of this, you can see how they walk straight in. This opens up, and that's where you can see where the carbonated, where all that goes underneath there. Pull that up. I like how all these like things are just like down. All it walks like a ramp almost, which is super cool. You got these actually are blasters that actually like move. Super cool. My favorite part is the. I actually have multiple several parts actually that I liked was this lime green and dark green up all the way to the top getting close to the gray and you have a sticker there on top and then going away here is that when you open this up As they shoot again, ready to roll. And then just keep going around here with a sticker there, sticker there, a sticker there, a sticker piece there, a sticker piece there, and the sticker piece there. With both of the same indectable wings, you got a sticker there, sticker there in the middle, sticker on there. Both stickers on each side, the same thing on the other side. And then for the um, main area, I like it all these little places that look really cool in place. The big macaroni grill, which looks kind of cool. Flat piece there, rim. Little interesting pieces here. And another one opens up too. But this is just like a small bluster gun 
on that too as well. On the stand, Boba Fett is ready in flight mode from all the way down to there, which is super cool. Now, Tema. And then when I just took the lid off, there's pick pans here, which you can see there and one there. And then all the cool, like, cool stuff there. Oh, cool. Printing on there, printing on there, and then his chair swivels too as well. With the another printing there as well. Just snap that back in, like so. Like so, which is a really cool and build here. And then from the back of it, this is like all the engine side of it, which this was a really intense and super cool and everything for that too as well. And all the cool fun things on as well. For the stand, this is also a big huge sticker which is a nice sticker to know on here and a great stand for that too as well just pretty good at detail how the stand actually worked really well now i'm going to show you guys the box and the instructions box a big huge size box size which is super cool on that and the back side of it what it looks like too as well with all the cool fun exciting features and everything on that too as well and then this is what the instruction book looks like which is a big thick book there's nothing really on the back of it but it could tell you who the guy who built it and all the cool details of like who did that as well as the one who decided to make this as a project so I hope you guys enjoyed this really cool, fun build. And as you know, I definitely had a great time building this set. And I, this was my first big modular set from LEGO Star Wars. And I gotta say, this was an incredible LEGO set that I built. From everything, from top to bottom, everything around. This definitely is an A for me. So, um. Don't forget to leave a bell icon if I ever post another video. And as to all, have an awesome day everybody. Bye.